students till now we discussed about introduction that is conductors are broadly classified into two categories number one electrolytic conductors and metallic conductors students uh, recall your definition electrolytic conductors are those conductors which conduct electricity in the form of ions in aqueous solution or in molten state an example of this is salts acid and bases what about electronic or metallic conductors and this conductors they conduct electricity only or mainly due to the delocalized electron i mean the flow of delocalized electron or mobile electrons this includes metals al alloys and few non metals like graphite and you know about graphite it is a only non it is a only non metal which conduct electricity and electrophy form of carbon so since graphite is there i mean a non metal is conducting so this type of conductors are also called electronic conductors and their conductivity is known as meta their conductivity is known as metallic conductivity and electrolytic conductivity or metallic conduction or electrolytic conduction respectively hope you know this and you are clear about the definition with examples now let us concentrate on activity 22.1 that that have been mentioned in your textbook observe the picture of in the textbook and observe my explanation students what is the thing that we require to perform that experiment number 1 aqueous nacl solution i mean nacl salt is dissolved in a water so it will be in aqueous condition so aqueous nacl solution number 2 turmeric powder number 3 a source of electricity should be there to prove the conductivity that is what our chapter so dry cell a source of electricity with the voltage of 1.5 volt and finally what happens electrolysis process and their phenomenon let me explain detailly so take one beaker glass beaker or the or the long or the long mouth plastic beaker with nacl solution in that so make sure that nacl solution is completely electrolyzed i mean salt plus uh, salt plus water should be there number 2 add turmeric powder in that add turmeric powder and spread in such a way it should be uniform in all the direction i mean in all the so what are the conditions here aqueous nacl solution should be in the glass beaker number 2 turmeric powder is added so obviously the solution became yellow color and now fix the dry cell with the two metallic stoves that is it gives two electrodes with a source of electricity before fixing the metallic stove make sure that turmeric powder is spread throughout the nacl solution now what happens students we know that what are the things present in the solution nacl plus water now listen the reaction takes place between the nacl and water soon after the metallic stove is immersed so what happens they split into their respective ions what is the process called this process of the splitting up of ions is known as ionization listen na plus from the nacl water is splitted into h plus and oh minus so na plus and oh minus will combine together to form naoh solution at one end of the terminal i repeat the electrodes are of two hope you know it is positive electrodes and the negative electrodes and other side the remaining part h plus and cl minus they together combine and form hcl at the other end now guess which side will be naoh which side will be hcl students at the cathode that is at the negative terminal naoh is formed at the anode i mean the positive terminal hcl is formed now there is also given that turmeric powder below the terminal below the negative terminal becomes red color why the red color is due to the formation of naoh which is base what is naoh it is sodium hydroxide due to formation of this at the negative terminal i mean at the negative uh, electrode the red color is observed i mean the turmeric powder 
at that particular area at that particular position becomes red color what about in the adjacent side it is yellow color the opposite end will be yellow color why hcl you know it is hydrochloric acid it is acid so it is yellow color what is the first inference drawn from this process the inference is turmeric is yellow color in the acidic or in the neutral condition but the same turmeric becomes red color in the alkaline medium this is the first observation we observed during this experiment and what is the overall inference of this experiment why we need to perform this experiment this experiment clearly reveals the point that aqueous solution of salt conducts electricity see the salt nacl which is dissolved in a water it gives a aqueous condition that conducts electricity due to the flow of ions what are the ions you we encountered na plus oh minus h plus cl minus due to the flow of these ions the conductivity of current is possible and this type of conductors are called electrolytic conductors and the process of conduct conduction is known as electrolytic conduction hope you understood so this experiment clearly reveals the point that aqueous solution of a salt conducts electricity why they conduct electricity because the flow of ions in them and why the flow of ions is so necessary for the conductivity of the current the reason is the flow of current the flow of ions decides the extent of current and their freedom of movement is directly proportion to the current they conduct so when ions are there their movement is observed so current is conducted so this is the inference drawn in 22.1 activity that have been given in the in your textbook so what is the thing here we we observed here aqueous solution of salt conducts electricity so this type of substances are called electrolyte what nacl hcl naoh are electrolytes what are electrolytes electrolytes are those substances which conducts electricity in the aqueous solution or in molten condition so what is the inference drawn in 22.1 activity students the aqueous solution of salt conducts electricity so this type of substances is called electrolytes and let us study about electrolytes in the future classes yes hope you understood 22.1 activity clearly reveals turmeric is yellow turmeric is yellow in color if the condition is acidic and neutral the same turmeric becomes red color if the acidic if the solution is alkaline in the nature so color of turmeric is very important to ensure the acidity or alkalinity if it is acidity the turmeric is yellow in color if it is neutral the turmeric is again yellow in color if the solution is alkaline then the turmeric becomes red in color why because they would have the formation of there 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 is a formation of naoh solution so hope you have understood this activity now let us study the differences between electronic conduction and electrolytic conduction i mean metallic conduction and electrolytic conduction cut mark koli